Hi friends, it's been an interesting week. <laughs> uh, let's see, we left uh, Quartzsite on the morning of the 29th, and on the evening of the 30th, I started feeling ill. And by New Year's Eve, the 31st, I was sick in bed. Missed New Year's Eve, went to bed at 7 o'clock. Stayed in bed for two days with a terrible head cold. And uh, what's today? Today's the 6th. I'm feeling fine. I cycle these things really fast because um, I think I have an exceptionally good immune system. And I exercise, and um, I'm healthy. Anyway, after two days in bed, and I had a fever of 100.1, uh, I'm fine. Anyway, uh, we're in Sonoida at the ranch. It's 26 degrees this morning, and uh, I'm not going outside to make a video. So I thought I'd just show you a few things around here inside the motorhome that I've done, some of them recently, some of them not so recently. Uh, we've had this RV since 2016, so I've had a lot of time for a lot of projects, and uh, several of them uh, you might find interesting, especially if you're an RVer. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. I was going to do a video about the um, diesel heater that I've installed. Um, if you watched my videos uh, in the recent past, you saw that I um, had a H. Calori diesel heater that they sent me to review, and I liked it. So uh, I was going to put it in the back by the engine, but I decided that uh, the, the case and everything its advantage being that it makes it portable wasn't what I needed. So I ordered a different one that I paid for and I have installed it. I'll show you in a minute um, what happens here on the inside of the RV. And then if it warms up, like I said, it's 26 degrees out there this morning. Um, I'll show you what I've done on the outside a little bit. Not going to make a full video of it. Um, speaking of 26 degrees, uh, this is a 2001 uh, Monaco Windsor. It's a fully four-season coach. We're very nice and warm inside. We have uh, double-pane windows. Our bays are heated by the uh, diesel furnace. So all of the water pipes and all of that stuff, it's all kept uh, up to temperature so it doesn't freeze. And we're toasty warm in here. But that new diesel heater has been a great advantage, too. Last night when we were watching TV, I didn't even have the main uh, heater on. I turned it on uh, later in the evening because when it started to get really cold, I need to be heating the bays down underneath where the water pipes are. Anyway, um, let me show you a few of the things that I've done in my old motorhome. And old, by the way, is a compliment. They don't make them like this anymore. <laughs> so I'm sitting there just a moment ago. Uh, the diesel heater, the new diesel heater. This is a cold air return. Down here in the steps is where all the cold air falls the most. And the diesel heater is out there in my generator compartment and it's ducted this is where the hot air comes out and I'll rework this a little bit more so that it's more presentable but should have hung that red wire up there before I start making a video right yeah, maybe later um, I'll make that a little more presentable but it's working great and we'll go outside and see how it works out there, but we'll do that in a while when it warms up. Hello, Miss Lynn. Hi. How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. Well, you had a cold too, but it's passing? Passing. Good. Yeah. What are you reading? 
No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me show you some stuff back here. Yesterday I was working on lights. Let me show you this. I have converted these to LEDs. It requires rewiring them, but I'm real happy with the result. I got uh, a wiring kit and 10 bulbs for $99. Let me show you some of the differences. This is a fluorescent, um, warm white. This is a fluorescent, warm white. And those things take 15 watts per bulb, so 30 watts per fixture. This one, I converted to LEDs myself years ago. Let me turn it off so you can see what I did. You can see I put LED strips up there and wired it. And uh, several years ago, before bulbs were available, that's what I did. And I did the same thing to the one that's under here. And I have an LED strip over here. And um, this one is still warm white. But let me show you these it's so bright and now we're in the daytime but look at the floor first time i turned it on lynn said well we're gonna have to mop the tile floor more often because you can sure see the dirt better i've finished the one in the bathroom so this one is now converted, bright white light. This one is not converted, still the warm white. We uh, don't use both of them at the same time. We only use this one most of the time, but uh, there's a lot of light. And the bedroom, that's the new one. That's an older warm, and this one has daylight bulbs in it. So it's uh, fluorescent, but it's thing. So 30 watts, 30 watts, 16 watts total. What a savings on wattage. Of course, we don't leave those two on all the time. Oh, let's talk about the fan. This was uh, inexpensive. I don't know, I remember, 20 bucks. I wired it into the light. Light doesn't have to be on for it to work. And I put a switch here. One of the tricks was that all this extra wire up here, when the slide comes in, it just comes to here, it doesn't hit the fan but have to have extra wire to stretch it out. I just wired the wire over there. It's uh, just taped there and double taped sticky there. So switch it on. And it just makes a nice breeze here when it's hot. It's really quiet. Real happy with that addition. Uh, I just noticed these are open. These doors are open. They're where that little vacuum cleaner is. My 600 watts of lithium batteries are back in that compartment. So when it's cold, I'm leaving that open. Um, I didn't spend the extra money to get the batteries you can charge when they're cold. Or that would shut themselves down when they're cold. So 
the battery management system with regard to cold weather is me. And I leave that open so that it stays uh, a little warmer in there. Uh, oh, <laughs> I left that drawer open. All my old bulbs, so I now have a supply for the ones that aren't converted. What motivated me to do this was that I started burning out bulbs and then I spent a whole bunch of time trying to fix this with new bulbs and I found out that the ballast in the middle was no good. So it made sense to just convert them. And I'm real happy with that. Uh, let me show you another thing while I'm talking about lights. Oh, diesel furnace just came on, if you're hearing that whine. For several years, I've had an automatic battery-operated light in the bathroom. So when I open the door, the light comes on. Hey, light, we're making a video. <laughs> it doesn't work in the daytime when there's ambient light. So if I put my hand up here, there, I held my hand over the sensor, it turns on. Turns on and off. And when you close the door, it'll be about uh, 15 seconds and it'll go off. Not yet. <laughs> uh, that's been a real blessing in the middle of the night to just be able to open the door and the lights on. I have a couple more of those and I used to have one underneath the cupboard here, but... I never replaced the batteries because it really wasn't necessary. This is the light. I bought them as a set of three and this one uh, I've never used. Uh, it comes with this uh, 3M uh, magnet that you just stick wherever you need it to stick it. And then the light goes onto the magnet wherever you put it. It takes four uh, double, no, triple A batteries. And I replace the batteries about uh, every couple of months. But uh, every time we open the bathroom door in the night, the light's on. Now as you're sitting there, which I'm not gonna demonstrate, <laughs> the light will go off. So you have to like fidget a little bit. <laughs> in order to get the light to come back on for a few more seconds. Oh, I've made a video about this before, but uh, let me show you my pantry. I uh, made this shelf here and attached it to the door. I didn't do one on the other door because I've made this. It's a vertical slide. And I had to cut these shelves back far enough for this. And of course, they used to go all the way over here. This is the area where a washer dryer would be in our RV. I opted to not have a washer and dryer because I like to go to the laundromat and use six machines at a time. And if that ain't working for you, like I told Lynn years ago, she said, it's time to do laundry. I said, no, it's time to go to Walmart and get more underwear. <laughs> ah, sun's come out. It's not too bad. I think it's uh, about 40 degrees now. Extra stepping stones out here so that uh, if it rains, it gets muddy. Lynn has some stepping stones to go to the car to smoke when it's cold. That's how we do it. Uh, that's how she does it. I don't smoke. That's a step stool. It's the first accessory I bought for the Jeep because the Jeep's lifted two and a half inches and she can't get into it without a stool. So we're going to open up the generator here. That's the, that's the generator tray. And uh, see how, what I've done with the diesel heater. Whoa, 
know, as long as we're talking about things I've done with the RV, uh, that's another one. I built a box right there so I could store a bunch of stuff. Uh, having been a boater in a past life, wasted space just uh, motivates me. So right there, there was enough space to put that diesel heater. And uh, this is the hot air out tube. And it goes up there and it goes across here underneath there. And it goes right into there. This is just a plastic box for your feet where the uh, brake pedal is. So that's working out really good. Turns out that the model of the diesel heater I bought has this great controller, but I don't need it because the remote works inside. It's just a little handheld remote. Uh, I'm not gonna crawl underneath there because the ground's a little damp from the dew, but hopefully you can see up underneath there, I've got the intake and exhaust for the, the um, heater all wired up. And you can see over there where the hose goes from my step for the air intake over to the diesel heater. Uh, the fuel tank is right here. Now, I actually got this right here is the fuel tank. You can see where it's down. I filled that up on the 28th, and we haven't used it overnight or anything, but we've used it for several hours every evening um, while we're watching TV and stuff. And uh, even sometime in the daytime when it's been really, really cold, I had it going for like, I don't know, hour and a half this morning on high initially and then cut it down to low. It has five levels of heat, one through five. And uh, like I said, ran it for about an hour and a half this morning. So that's how much fuel we have left after all those days. Um, that's, uh, let's see, today's the sixth. So maybe about 10 days of not using it to, as the principal heater, but as an auxiliary heater in the RV. And I think it's a lot more efficient than my $15,000 big one. Had the generator serviced back there in Quartzsite. Um, changed the oil and the filters and the fuel filter. And it's running perfectly. Well, let me close this up. It's heavy. <coughs> For another $8,000, you can get a one that's automatic. I guess that was a cost 20 years ago. We're back to birds. Oh, I took a video this morning. Let me show it to you. We've had a menagerie of feathered friends this morning. There's a woodpecker, a pair of house finches, a canyon towhee, a sparrow, and every once in a while, the curve-billed thrasher come and clear them all out so he can get to it. Uh, oh, by the way, Lumerary is sending me another bird feeder. This one has hummingbirds and regular bird feeders both. Um, I'll be doing a review of that soon. They keep sending me these things. I'll keep taking them. Well, I think that'll make today's video. Thanks for indulging me today. We'll probably be heading back towards Yuma or Quartzsite uh, in a couple of weeks. In the meantime, just going to try to stay warm up here at 5,000 feet in Senoida, Arizona. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.